welcome to another video of Woo's Lab. This time we're going to talk about the top 10 best <clears throat> Iron Man armors. 10th spot is Mark 5. The Mark 5 is n not very powerful, but the reason I put it in this powerful list is because you can ready up pretty much every time as long as you have the case and you can wear it in a few seconds so it's extremely useful in very many circumstances and saves Tony's life which is a uh, whoa and mark nine is mark three mark three is a made of a gold titanium alloy and is extremely strong so like it really doesn't break easily so that's why i put it here but there is one problem it takes way too long to take on and off which is a problem for if you're going inside an emergency so yeah plus it's extremely hard to get out. Eight spot is Mark Four. Now Mark Four is very powerful and you can take it on and off easily. I mean, that's an advantage. However, its attack and defensive Skills are basically the same to Mark III. There are no real dif big differences except for design and wearability. And Mark VII, Mark 43. Mark 43 is basically the completed version of Mark 42. And it can attach onto the whole cluster one, the first Hulkbuster, and I think it's extremely powerful, mostly because it's advanced. It's It's got good defenses, and it has good attack ability, seen in the first battle in Age of Ultron. Too bad this was the only movie that this armor was in. It's on lucky number seven. And Mark six. I mean, sixth spot is Mark 45. Mark 45 is <clears throat> basically just an upgraded version. I mean, upgrades are just better and there is one problem just like every nearly every single suit that Iron Man had. Ant-Man, or basically any insect there is, they cannot enter the suit. And we saw that in the battle in Civil War. And fifth spot is Mark 46. No, but like really, the only advantage it has over Mark 45 is that it can, you can wear it even faster, but like anyways. Mark 4. I mean, fourth spot is Hulkbuster the first. Now the first Hulkbuster is incredibly powerful and using the satellite Veronica, it can even heal. And is, is the first and nearly last suit to do that. So, and it's made to withstand extreme power such as Hulk. And just so you know, Hulk is on ninth spot on my list of the Avengers. So that's extremely powerful. So, yeah, you got to be, uh, make this suit powerful enough to withstand Hulk. And you did that, Tony. You just made a suit that can defeat Hulk, repulsors, extreme technology, healing, 
extreme defenses anyway, so it, like the healing doesn't matter unless it breaks, which I doubt that it will in most circumstances. And the extremely high strength, so really that's just a bit of all the advantages it has. And you might be like, wait, but like, if it's that heavy, that if it has that much abilities, then shouldn't it be heavy? And yes, you're right, it's heavy. Just this thing has 11 arc reactors, so it doesn't really matter much. And third spot is Hulkbuster the second. You might be like, ugh. Definitely the first Hulkbuster was better. Like, uh, the first Hulkbuster never defeated Hulk. However, the second Hulkbuster defeated Cole Obsidian. So, like, yeah, that's extremely, uh, whoa. Which is why I put Hulkbuster the second over Hulkbuster the first. Uh, Hulkbuster the second is the first ever suit to use nanotechnology. Which is one of the reasons that I put it over Hulkbuster two. It has somewhat healing capabilities, but if fighting Hulkbuster 1 without Veronica, then Hulkbuster 2 will win. Hulkbuster 2 will win. So that is why I put it on third spot rather than behind Hulkbuster the first. And second spot is Mark 60, the one he used in the Avengers Infinity War. I mean, did you see what he was able to do during the battle? Uh, he has so many weapons, and even if it was sci-fi, that's a, whoa. And finally, number one, Mach I-Type 5, the latest and last but not least suit that Tony made is extremely powerful. I mean, you saw its power in Avengers Endgame, right? Uh, it was able to deploy an energy shield. It was able to heal to some extent. It was able to create certain weapons and more so that's just a 100% sci-fi thing really so like whoa anyways that's it for this video if you enjoyed it like and subscribe and bye